Hi, how are you? Welcome. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Saida, Wendy, Ana Lilian Reyes. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Carlos Alberto Bautista? Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Claudia Raquel. Hello. Hello, Claudia. Carlos Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I don't know, but Claudia looked different today. Got a new look. <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, okay. I was wondering, and I said, it's a new student, I guess. Yeah, really? <laughs> the same. No, nah, the same. OK. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm cleaning my glasses. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. You are cleaning your glasses. <laughs> Lisette Asensio is there, too. Hello, Lisette. Hello, teacher. Everything fine? Yes. Okay, we are so close to finish this module. So for the reason uh, you look happy, I guess. Jonathan is there too. Elizabeth Martinez is there. Okay, here we go. That, that is Claudia again. <laughs> Maria Concepcion, Juan Carlos. Hello, Mr. Good evening. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Okay. Relax in your house now, right? Yeah. Maria, how are you, Maria? So, so, teacher. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Okay. Martinez Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. And you? More or less, teacher. Ah, okay. More or less, less or more, okay, okay. Okay. Teacher, yes. yo no voy a participar. <laughs> no voy a participar en la clase. Qué raro, ¿verdad? Pero... Oh, ya perdí. It's going to be weird. Hoy ya perdí todo el módulo, teacher, hoy. Solo la asistencia le voy a cumplir. ¿Por qué? Ya ni sé qué hacen, teacher. Ahí están los vídeos. Imagínense, veo cinco vídeos. Son diez horas. ¿En qué momento los voy a ver? Ahí está. El esfuerzo. Ay, no, teacher. Todo esfuerzo trae su recompensa. Oh, chica, pero esta recompensa la veo. Far away. Mm, ya llevo tres años, para cuatro años voy a ir a un paso de lo mismo. Mm. I don't think so.
Okay, Hi, teacher. Have... Hello, who's speaking? Yeah, Paso Lista. No, no, you're driving. Estaba a little tired. No, creo yo. Very, very tired, teacher. Ah, ok. En ese Ojalá momento haya... donde la mente ya no da más. Ojalá haya sido tired, porque como era viernes y you know, el dicho no. como dice. No, teacher. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a good no boy. Cosa pero, no tomo, pero las cosas en serio. Ah. <laughs> bueno. Y eh, ahí el detalle. Okay, let me see the attendance now in order to be sure that. Mm, let me see what we're gonna do here. Let me switch my account. I got it here. Okay, let me see. I got only a 13, no more than that. No pasamos del número 13. Okay, I'm going to start calling by name. Okay, don't forget to do the activities in uh, the platform place because I need it. I need to, to record to keep in file. Okay, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Is not there? Ana Beatriz, are you there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Ahí está Ana Lilian. Bautista. Present, teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis. Present, teacher. Galileo.
No. Eh, Jonathan Vigil. Presente. No es select, es selección. Okay. Pero, Rod eh, Rodrigo eh, Hernández. A nivel de interfaz gráfica se conocen de manera más frecuente. Rodrigo Hernández. Juan Carlos Rivas. Mm. Laura Carolina. Laura. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael Cañas. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny. Jenny. Lisette Asensio. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Brian Javier. Here, teacher, present. Okay. Let us start now talking about. Let me see. We got one more. Who is it? Maybe it's Mayra. Oh, who else could be? Ah, okay. Yesenia is there. Okay, 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 okay. Today we are going to talk about analyzing production costs of a product. That is going to be the topic for today. And I would like to share with you my presentation in order that you can see it. But let me see something first. Okay, let me see here. Hi guys. Well, today we have a less information to talk about it. It's going to be based on page number. Let me see the number of the page that we are going to study. A 32. There we are going to talk about the production line. And we start talking about some questions that we have. Ah, okay, I got uh, Laura and somebody else. I don't know who they are. Okay, let me see. We got a lattice number here. 
Okay, hold on a little bit. I need to close this windows. Close this one too. One more is here. Teacher. Hello, sir. I'm here, teacher. Diego. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm going to check it out. now. Diego is there. Diego is there. Okay, Diego Ernesto Molina. I got it. Somebody else is missing that I call. Alguien que no respondió cuando llamé o que no había entrado. Laura, teacher. Laura, so, Laura. I'm, I'm Laura. sorry. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Laura is there too, okay. Okay. Ahí está Laura. I got it. Okay, well, here we go. Because I got a lot of... My goodness. Okay, here we go. I hope that you can see it, what we are going to talk today. This is class, that be conference number 19. We are going to talk about analyzing productions, cost of a product. That, that is going to be our main topic for today, analyzing production cost of a product, okay? Okay, in order to start talking about today, we are going to talk about this. Let's start. And uh, we have the first question. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make profits? Okay, I need that you talk about this question. Okay. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analyzing costs is essential to make a profit? What do you think about that? Tell me. Procedure. Regardless of the concept. I'm I'm waiting for you answer about the first question. Hello, teacher. Is there Misael? Is there Misael? Is there? Welcome, um, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if you have an idea about the first question that we are asking. Do you agree to do regardless of the size of the business, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? What do you think about that? From my point of view, yes, it is essential. It doesn't matter how big or um numerous are the business we need to take into account or at least take a look at the cost to make profits mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you, so Maria. I want to say something about it. Profit. I need that you understand the question. Necesito que entiendan, por favor, la pregunta. Do you agree? Está usted de acuerdo that regardless of the size of the business? Analyzing costs is essential to make a profit. Yes, teacher, I agree. Because what mean? Regardless. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two, two people at the same time, I don't know. Dos al mismo tiempo. A ver que si queremos participar. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. And then, and then the, the question. Yes, teacher, I agree because if I don't... Uh, Calculate era la, la palabra. Okay. The cost. Yeah, the eh, cost. Sí, you can lose and in, in, in don't see the la pérdida. Okay. Yes. You can lose money. Yes. And I, the second, and I, I calculate uh, the price product. product. Okay, the price of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you again. Let me show you again. What mean legal, legalness? The third one is um, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product. If you don't have ideas, don't worry about it. We are going to talk about that later on. Okay, Jonathan, I don't know if you have a question or do you want to talk about it? Thank you, lady. Jonathan. Um, what you mean really, mister? What is the meaning of what? Really. Regardless. Yes, regardless. Regardless. It is like uh, independientemente del tamaño del negocio. That could be in that way. Okay, okay, thank you. It's just an idea. Okay, Saira Larin. Saira Larin, Saira Larin. Hi, teacher. Yes, I agree. It depends on the quality of the product to assess the cost. For example, the good, good product have good price. And three teacher, creo que son gastos fijos. It's okay. How do you teacher? El audio teacher. Jenny. Esa es la traducción. Fixes expensive. Gastos fijos. Ya yeah, could be that way. Mm -hmm. Fix expensive, right?
direct cost, uh, maybe uh, rent, wages, or bills, no, receive, como recibo de luz. Okay, the power bill. The power bill, rent, and wages. Okay, could be. Okay, what else? Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. I need that all of you understand the questions because we are going to read something later on about this. Teacher, may I remember uh, total fixed cost is um, pay for todos los people. Okay, know. okay. And total variable cost. Ah, okay. We are going to talk about that too. Okay, but we are going to do it in a, in a clear way in order that all of you can understand what we are going to talk about. Tranquilos que vamos a hablar de unos términos muy básicos. Of course, that is going to be in English in order that you can understand. If you, if you have seen the material that we are going to study today, I already told you. You need to take a look at the page number, let me see, uh, 32. On page 32 is, is all the, the material that we are going to study today, but I'm going to give more information about it and not in order that all of you can understand it because this is really important that you understand it. But I continue with the question because I, I would like to, to be sure that all of you understand what we are talking about it and also the meaning of the question. If you don't know something, just let me know. With the hell of your classmate, uh, you are going to get in context about the topic that we are going to study today. But so please, if you have a question, just let me know that you got a question because what I need is that you understand the topic that we are going to talk about today. So let us start talking about the three question. And then you are going to show me that you are related with the topic. If you haven't heard before, don't worry about it because today we are going to share some information that is going to help you to understand all those terms related with business. Okay, me están oyendo, sí. Yes, Mr. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Tell me. I, I don't want to go over uh, before to be sure. I need to be sure that um, you understand what we are talking about it. No, no me gustaría avanzar mientras no esté seguro de que todos entienden eh, de lo que estamos hablando. ¿Sí? And, and I remember that uh, in, in previous module, you study some uh, special vocabulary related with this topic, for example, fixed expenses, uh, ya lo dijo la compañera por ahí que son gastos fijos, ¿sí? For that reason, the last question said, can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost as a product? And she already mentioned three of them. Ella ya mencionó eh, tres ejemplos de gastos fijos. Pero si no han oído esos términos, tranquilos, take it easy. We are going to study in order that all of you can understand it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay. 
but I still had the question here because um, I need to I need to be sure what is uh, that you know what is the meaning for example of the word profits. You need to keep in mind what is profit. To make profits, yes, it is okay. And at the same time, we have the second question that, that said, have you ever calculated the price of a product? And, and what I can ask you also is uh, maybe that you tell me all the aspects that you consider in order to calculate it. But we are going to go deeper later on when we start talking about this because we are going to read an article and based on that we are going to um, have more information about it. Don't worry now. But what I, wa uh, I just want to know is just your previous knowledge about this question. And I know that you uh, have some information about it. Aunque los términos parezcan difíciles, yo sé que muchos de ustedes tienen conocimiento de esos términos because you work in different areas and you are related with uh, with bookkeeping maybe and accounting and for that reason you are related with those terms but we are going to talk about it today okay i don't know if somebody i want to say something about the question Because remember the name of the the name of the of the class for today. I need to go back in order to show you and why we are going to talk about this. It is here. Analyzing production cost of a product. What we need to know in order to make an analysis of a production and to see the cost of the product. That is the main purpose that you know how you are going to do it. And for that reason, I got this question here. Yeah. Maybe, Hello. Maybe more dangerous is you have a load in your ingress uh, product. Ah, uh -huh. It is uh, more dangerous. Yes. But this, you don't need to know how much does a uh, product cost? And, and, and for this, it's important. Ah, okay. But what about the second question? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? I need that you tell me. In my case, I remember in the university. Okay, okay, tell me. How to lay the cost of products. Okay. That few years ago. <laughs> few years ago? Uh, oh, yes, a few years ago, because you are young. Don't worry about it. Yes. Okay. And do you still remember this formula in order to calculate it? No? No, I only remember that you have to uh, know the cost, fixed cost, the variable cost. Ah, okay, okay. And yeah. some markup ah, for okay. make profit. Okay, today I'm going to uh -huh. refresh your, your memory in order that you remember the formula that we are going to follow in order to calculate the cost of the product based in different uh, aspects, okay? Okay, remember that I'm going to show you this in a, in a general way in order that all of you can apply it and can uh, also give me some example because later, uh, first of all, I'm going to give you some example how we are going to deal with this. And later on, you are going to create your own examples following the, the formulas because that is the main purpose that you learn to do it in English. Okay, alguien más? Ya tienen que irse recordando. 
No? I, I, I see you worry. I don't know why. Algunos los veo así como preocupados. Uh, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero porcentaje de utilidad. Esa es otra cosa. Ah, the percentage. Okay. Affinity percentage. Affinity percentage. I, 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 got, I got all those terms. We are going to see it. Se dan cuenta que sí saben. I know, I know. For that reason, I, I told you the last class, I guess, the previous class, I told you. One of the reasons uh, to be here with you before to come here, I study uh, a little bit about andragogy. That is the science that teach adults. And all the time, even though that we consider the a topic is new, According to your experience, you got some um, certain background about the topic. Okay, let us start now. We are going to read a little bit of information and later on we are going to go wider, you know. Let us, based on the info that we got in the material, I'm going to share it with you and we are going to start reading and Later on, we are going to go deep all. Y luego nos profundizamos en eso, ¿ok? Porque necesito que aprendan esto. Ok, I'm going to share this one first and later on. Ok, this is the material that we got. Um, I need that you identify the specific detail in a passive related to calculating cost of a product. In order to do this, uh, you need to read the following text featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of the product. And then we are going to answer some questions below. But uh, we are going to read it and later on I'm going to show you more information because as I told you, we, are, we have it here in a general way. Okay, let us start talking about this. There are three important factor businesses need to consider when pricing a product. In this case, we are talking only just about three important factors, but there are a lot of different aspects that we sometimes we can consider. But in this case, in this case, uh, we are going just to talk about three specific aspects. The first one is the cost of production. The second one is going to be the market demand for the product and the desired market by the business. Okay, but let us talk about the first one, the cost of the production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of the business firm product. Okay, I'm going to make an stop here because I need that you understand this line. Voy a hacer un alto hasta el punto porque necesito que se comprenda hasta ahí esa información. Okay, give me some, uh, some picture in order to tell me that you got the information. When I say give me some picture, cuando digo give me some picture, estoy diciendo como muéstreme que sí si ya obtuvo algunas ideas de lo que estamos hablando. O por ejemplo, okay, okay. O por ejemplo cuando estoy explicando algo y yo pregunto, uh, do you got some picture about the topics? Or, or, or maybe somebody is telling me something and I say, okay, I got some picture about that. Como quien dice, ya, ya, ya tengo unas ideas de lo que me estás diciendo. Okay, tell me. Hello, alguien me iba a decir algo. Uh, yes, teacher, you speak about the cost of production, for example, the rent of the local, or the, for the cost about the uh, mano de obra, so do you say in? Okay. And another cost uh, fixed uh, for the production that are important 
for all operations. Okay. Okay, the first one, when we start talking about the cost of productions, we are talking about money, right? When, and when we talk about fixed and variable costs, estamos hablando de qué tipo de costos? Ya lo dijeron, necesito que lo digan para que los demás se empapen de esto. Fixed and variable. Costs. Cost, okay. In Spanish. Fijos y variables. Ah, costos fijos y variables. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que pasa con ellos? Determine the selling price of the business fair product. That means that these two aspects determine, determine the price of the business fair product. Okay, let us continue reading. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. ¿Qué es lo que incluye los fit costs? Los costos fijos, ¿qué es lo que incluyen? En español. En inglés, en inglés. The rent. The money that you pay if you rent your office. Okay, what else? Direct labor teacher. Materials. Uh, direct, direct materials. The raw material, maybe. Yes. Okay, but, but, but we need to be careful about that. Okay, okay, okay. I know that there are a lot of terms that maybe we can use it, but we need to be careful in order to, to keep in the, in, in, in the main point that we are going to study. Okay, in this case, say, fit costs include items which are the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sale volume, like labor and material. ¿Cuál es el costo variable entonces? ¿Qué incluye, dice? The variable ver, ver cost eh, are eh, electricity eh, in labor indirect um, labor, labor, labor indirect, and other uh, cost variable. Teacher. Okay, including the material that you mentioned. The material it is included. Mater material prim prima, pero no sé, materia prima es la que está directamente relacionada con el producto, teacher. Raw, pero, mat raw material. Oh, okay. Repeat, raw material. Wrong material. Raw material. Wrong material. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe teacher de letra? <laughs> Please. R-A-W. Ah, uh, raw materials. Okay, teacher. Thank you. R-A-W, raw material. Okay, we already know what is fit cost and what include, and we already know what variable costs include and what it is, okay? If you have cleared those terms, we can continue, but let me know. Let me know now, because I don't want to be reading the whole paragraph and you don't got any idea of what I'm talking about. It. Is that clear? If I ask you, if I ask you what is fixed cost and what include, what can you tell me about it? Tell me. Are those costs that say permanent in the time? Independent, regardless the volume of the production. Oh, okay, could be an idea. Okay, thank you. And what about the 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 variable cost? 
because I need that you can, uh, that you have a clear idea about uh, this one, because sometimes I tend to to confuse about it. But but let 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 me continue reading and then we can discuss this. Okay. In pricing, I'm reading here. In pricing your product first, determine how much of your fixed and variable cost go into producing each unit of your product. Okay, you need to take into account this in price in your product. First, determine how much of your fixed and variable cost go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a total by your estimated total. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Okay, what, what is the meaning of this word? I need that you tell me. What is the meaning of this word? Let me see how I'm going to spotlight it. What is this? You need to, ah, what is this? To my teacher. Ah, okay. Okay. It is an addition to your total fit cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide, listen, you divide that total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Y así obtendremos el costo por unidad. But I need that you understand the process where we are going to follow in order to make the analysis. As soon as you have this, uh, you are going to be ready to, to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of productions. Okay, I'm going to start again. I'm going to start again to read this because I need that you understand what we are talking about. It. Okay, I'm going to read again. The cost of production, fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent of your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sell value like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. That means that you are going to make an addition about how much do you pay for rent um and 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 different aspect like um the material maybe uh the labor and based on that you are going to uh divide it divide the total by your estimated total sale and you are going to get it but in order that uh in order that you can understand it I got more info in, in, in examples and examples about this. But before to go there, I would like to hear you that you read this paragraph because I, I want that you get familiar with this. Who wants to read it for me? Quien quiere leer? Quien quiere leer? Patricia Bautista. Bautista, adelante. Uh, in market demand. No, 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 no. Uh, we are talking about the first one, the cost of production. 
Okay, okay. The cost of production. Fix and variable cost determine the selling price of the business fair product. Okay, okay, Fix okay. Hold on, hold on there. The term. The term. Okay, the term. The term okay. the selling price of a business film product. Okay, continue. Fix, fix cost include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable cost include item that change with your sales volume, like labor and material. In pricing your product, First, determine how much of the fixed and variable cost going to producing each unit of your product. Also, it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula. To help, to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimate total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Hello. Teacher is on mute. Microphone, teacher. My microphone is mute. I don't know why my microphone is mute. Okay, let me see the where is here. Okay, you got it there, sir. Could you read it for me, please? Determine. Okay. Determine. Yeah, determine, determine. Determine. Okay. Write, write it down if you want in your notebook in order that you can keep it in your mind. Now I already got the symbols here, the IPA. Okay, somebody wants to read it? Alguien más quiere leerlo? Me, teacher, Zaira. Okay, Zaira. El mismo, the yes. cost of product. Yes, the same, the same. The cost of, of production. Fixed and variable cost determine the selling price of a business film product. Fixed cost include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable cost include items that change with your sales volume like labor and material. Continue, teacher. Yes. In pricing your product, will determine how much uh, of your fixed and variable cost go in product, producing each unit of your product. Also, it may be a difficult calculation a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. 
then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have the, your cost of production per unit. Estimated, estimated. Estimated, estimated. And I need to look for something else that I need early. You only teacher? Yes. Okay, hold on a second. Because I, I, I need to I need to help you with the pronunciation of some words. Okay, what about this one? I need that you take into account this one too. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, you got it, can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, read it for me, read it, read it. Lea me for. Fixed. Ah, okay, with T at the end. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. Fixed. Fixed. Put in your list. Put in your list of the vocabulary that we are starting today, okay? Okay, um, I'm going to show you some, some information that I have in order that you understand what we are talking about it. And uh, let me see. Let me see how we are going to talk about this topic. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to read it. Um, okay, there are many ways to price the product or service you sell. Many of them involve some sort of markups. You can calculate a market based on the cost of the product or a market based on and the selling price of the product. Factor to consider when setting a product price. There are many factors a business owner should consider when pricing a product using market and rate, rate and analysis. These three may be the most important. And we already talked about the cost of production, the market demand for the product, the desired market by the business owner. Okay, don't worry about this because we need to start talking about the fair ones. Okay, here we go. The cost of production, we already talked about this. Fixed and variable cost, determine the selling price of the business, fair product. Fixed costs include items which are the rent of, uh, for your office, for manufacturing space, variable costs include items that change with your sales value, like labor and material. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. This one, uh, we already read it. Ya esto lo leímos. And I consider that it's clear. I don't know if we have any question. If not, I'm going to continue reading. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fit cost to your total variable costs then you divide the total by your estimated total sale. You will have then your cost as production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do is this, the variable cost formula. To calculate variable cost, okay, let me see the time. It is time to check out the attendance. I'm sorry. Okay, um, I'm going to finish reading this part and I, later on I'm going to, to check out the, the, the attendance. To calculate variable costs, multiply what it, it costs to make one unit of your product by the total number of product you created. This formula looks like this. Total variable cost is equal to cost per unit multiplied by the total number of units. Okay, you need to have clear about this. But don't worry about it. Variable cost 
here the name because they can increase and decrease as you make more or less of your product. Somebody say about this, say something about this. What happened with variable cost? Why? Por, por qué le llamamos así costo variable? Por qué? Because can increase and decrease. Increase. Depends of quantity, teacher. Yeah, all depend on the quantity, of course. It is. As you make more or less of your product. The more units you sell, entre más unidades vendo, the more money you make. But some of this money will need to pay for the production of more units. So you need to produce more units to actually return a profit. Is that clear? Okay, make a screenshot, please. Pueden hacerle eh, eh, una captura de pantalla porque necesito corroborar la asistencia. And I need to clarify this concept because. Uh, Teacher. Hello. Hello. Then you. Your presentations in the group. It's okay. very important the information. Yes, yes, I know. Do you know what happened with the, with the previous one? ¿Sabe lo que me pasó en la, en la previa? Eh, que lo que sucede es que a veces eh, tengo información, por ejemplo, en esta tengo como más de, más de 50 quizás láminas y se me hizo difícil por el peso, pero eh, sí, porque a veces no vemos completamente eh, todo el contenido por el tiempo, pero yo siempre estoy preparado con suficiente material Quizás lo que puedo hacer es cortar hasta donde vemos para que puedan tener el material, porque yo sé que es importante para ustedes. Y me disculpo por, yes. porque realmente uh, estuve buscando la forma y WhatsApp me decía que se me pasaba de, 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 de la capacidad. Entonces, pero eh, lo que puedo hacer es precisamente eso, cortarlo. Y esta parte sí es muy importante porque ustedes necesitan aprender cómo hacer esos cálculos para en inglés. But I'm going to show you the formula later on. Let me check out uh, the first one, uh, the attendance. Vamos a checar la asistencia ahorita. It's windy here. I don't know what, what is going to happen. I don't know why, but in this area it's windy. I don't know in your area. Do you know what I mean? It's warm. Really? Right here is windy. The weather is, is, is cool. I don't know why it looks like it's going to rain, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. But it's kind of windy. I don't know why. You say windy and me, me, you know, <laughs> he's windy. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Oh. <clears throat> okay, Ana Beatriz Campos is there. Ana Beatriz, are you there? Ana Beatriz, no. Ana Lilian? Present. Bautista. Present. Carlos Alberto is there, okay. Uh, Escobar. Present, teacher. Claudia. Present. Galileo. Galileo, I saw Galileo there. Just say hello, Galileo. Galileo. It's working, maybe it's working, maybe, but I saw it connected. Let me see if I can. Hello, sir. Ah, it's there, it's there. Okay. I'm okay. so sorry, but I'm here. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry about it. 
But it's really important that you say hello, because in that way, the attendance. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. I got it. I, I appreciate myself. your support. Okay, okay. Jose Jonathan? Hello. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo Hernandez? Present. Ah, it's there too. Yeah. Uh, Carlos Rivas? Present, teacher. Carolina? Laura? Present, present teacher. Maria? Concepción? Present. María Elena? Present, teacher. Mayra Veralice? Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel? Saira Marleni? Present, teacher. Misael is there, too. Sí. Okay, um, Wendy? Present, teacher. Jenny Suleima? Present, teacher. Eh, Lisette Yesenia. Present, teacher. Diego. Present. Brian, Javier. Present teacher. Sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sir. Okay, remember that we are, so, we are so close to finish. Only just one week. So please try to attend the classes because you need to get that 80% in order to pass the module. No pierdan el 80%, por favor, ya falta poco. Yeah, falta poco. Okay, let us go back again to talk about this. But don't worry about uh, all those uh, words because later I'm going to show you uh, the formula in order that you can make uh, some uh, analysis about this. What, what, Okay, I would like to read from this part variable cost here the name because they can increase and decrease. Increase mean this, decrease mean this. As you make more or less your product. The more you know you sell, the more money you, you'll make. you make. But some of this money will need to pay for the production smart units. So you'll need to produce more you need to actually turn a profit. Okay, who wants to read this? Quien quiere leer? Quien quiere leer? Me teacher. Okay, okay. To, cal to calculate variable variables cost. Multiply what is cost to make one unit of your product by the total number of products you create. This form, what do you mean? How do you pronounce the formula? Form. Teacher. This formula. Formula. What? Formula. Formula. This formula, formula looks like this total variable cost. Equal cost per unit for total numbers of units. How do you say, well, how do you say right here? Um, you can say buy. Buy, okay. You can say buy or multiply by the total number of units, okay? Okay, by total numbers of units. Okay. Variable cost earn here the name because they can increase and de decrease. Increase, 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 and, and decrease. Okay. Because they can increase and decrease. Okay. As you make more or less of your product, the more you need for sell, the more money you make. But some of this money 
will need to pay for the production of more units. So you need to produce more units to actually actually turn a profit. 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 To okay. actually turn a profit. Turn a profit. Thank you. Okay. What is the word that you uh, that you have some 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 doubts? How to pronounce it? What did you decrease? No, 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 no. The 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 word before uh, this one. Ah, uh, bye. La, la, no, no, no. La palabra que me pro, me preguntaba. Ah, pure. Per... Eso, ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> me cuesta. Per... Formula. Formula. Okay, formula. 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 Okay, okay. I don't know if, you, if somebody uh, uh, have any questions so far because I need to go and explain the, the formula. Any questions so far from here? Alguna pregunta? Hello. No question? No question, no, teacher. Ah, teacher. Okay, just look this picture and think about it. Think about it. Here we go. Here we go for the next one. Okay, this is the formula. We got the variable cost formula. Variable cost is equal to cost per unit by the total number of units. I don't know if you have any problem understanding this formula. No sé si tienen algún problema para entender esa fórmula. El costo variable es igual al costo por unidad por el número de unidades. And I need that you make a screenshot. Necesito que hagan un screenshot porque vamos a hacer un ejercicio de esos. Yo creo que a Claudia ya se recordó. Claudia. Hello. <laughs> Do you remember it or not? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, you got it there. May I continue? <laughs> May I continue? Mm, yes. Okay. And, and because each unit requires a certain amount of resource, a higher number of units will rise the variable cost needed to produce them. Variable costs adding a problem. Listen this. Though they're more of a necessary able. What is that? What do you understand about that? Tell me your own words. What is the meaning of the sentence? Que comprendo hasta ahí. Hello. What comes to your mind when you see the word evil? Variable costs are any problem, though they're more of a necessary evil. What is that? In Spanish. Yes. Mal necesario. Es un mal necesario. Ok. Ok. Ya eso le da luces a los demás compañeros para que comprendan qué es lo que estamos hablando, ¿no? Ok. They play a role in several bookkeeping tasks in both your total variable cost and average variable cost are calculated separately. Hay que calcularla separadamente. ¿Sí? Ok. But let us see an example. Let me see if I got an example here in order that you can do it your own. Ok. Let us talk about total variable cost. Your total variable cost is the sum of all variable costs 
are associated with each individual products you develop. Okay, you need to have clear that concept. Calculate to total variable cost by multiplying the cost to make one unit of your product by the number of products you developed. We already talked about this. And we had the, the formula total variable cost is equal to cost per unit multiplied by the total number of units. And here is the example. And I need that you understand this example. Okay, for example, it is cost $60 to make one unit of your product and you made 20 units. Your total variable cost is 60 by 20 or 1,200. Okay, tell me if you understand, please. Take a look, study, analyze. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Let you tell me. Teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, one one thousand two hundred uh, dollar uh, cost. Quiero decir que mil doscientos dólares cuesta en español, teacher. <laughs> Cuesta producir 20 unidades. Ah, uh -huh, ok. Tell me. Sí, you are right. Ok. Ok, another question, another question. I need that you understand the example, please. Make on a screenshot, make on a screenshot, please. Um, it is clear the example. Yes, teacher. I don't know if you yes. have. No? Yes, it is. Or not, it is. Tell me. Yes. Okay, I, I consider that it's clear, but imagine that you tell me something different. Okay, but let us talk about this one. This is average variable cost. This is a different formula. But don't worry about that. We are going to apply only as the program. Your average variable cost use your total variable cost to determine how much on average it costs to produce one unit of your product. You can calculate it with the formula below. We already had uh, we already had this one that we call it TBC. What is the meaning of this one? TPC, what is the meaning? Total variable cost. This total variable cost, okay. Is equal to cost to make product by the number of the unit made, okay. How we are going to do this? Uh, average variable cost is equal to say, TVC of the product A plus TVC of product B and so on. Divided into the number of units made. Okay, I need, based on the example, I need that somebody uh, do this one. And, and, and share the screen and tell me, okay, teacher, we got this. Let me, let, let me, let me do something here. Not it, uh, I want to let you share it, okay? Okay.
It is really easy, really easy. Ok, en vez de poner todo esto de que voy a poner el TV of de, del producto A, del producto B, imagínense que son 500, ¿qué es lo que debo de poner aquí? Teacher, como sacar un promedio, teacher. Ah, ok. Ok, it is something like that. In this formula, I'll help you to imagine you have different product with different prices. Is to calculate of total variable cost of a product A plus uh, the total calculate of a... Uh, product B, product C, product D, all the Yeah, all the That's right. of, the, of, the, of the amount of product that you have. And you are going to divide it with the total number of units that you got. And then you are going to get a result. Y entonces ahí vamos a obtener un resultado. Make a nice screenshot, please. Because I need to go for the next one. Okay. Uh, let me see if we are going to talk about this. Okay, we got an example here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, total variable cost versus average variable cost. What happened there? If the average variable cost of one unit is found using your total variable cost, do you already know how much one unit of your product costs to develop? That is a question. Can uh, you work backward and simple divide your total variable cost by the number of units you have? Not necessarily. While total variable cost show how much you are paying to develop every unit of your product. You may also have to account for products that have different variable costs per unit. That's where average variable cost comes in. Okay, I, I need that you pay attention about the, this last two part, but also about this question. I need to, that you understand it. The average variable cost of one unit is from using your total variable cost. What is that? Who wants to tell me? What is the meaning of the word average? Hello? Wherever. No teacher, I don't know. Okay, somebody, 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 somebody. <clears throat> Okay, what what is it? The average variable cost. El costo promedio, el costo variable promedio de la unidad of one unit is found using your total variable cost. Do you already know how much one unit of your product costs to develop? Okay, mucho vocabulario nuevo, gente. And you need to learn it. El tema también es nuevo, teacher. Yes. 
the, the topic also is new. But, but uh, as I told you, you got it in your material on page number 32. Porque estoy en, en Ahí está en el, la página número 32. And what I'm, what I'm doing is just um, increasing. Pase de noche de esa materia, teacher. Hola? Pase de noche de esa materia. No, but, but, but uh, don't worry about it. No se preocupen. Lo más importante es la fórmula, cómo van a hacer. Eh, no vamos a ir demasiado profundo. Solo nos vamos a quedar quizás con la fórmula primera. Porque ya aquí estamos hablando de costo, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Costo variable, con costo promedio. Pero ahorita tranquilos, quizás vamos a mostrarles nada más el ejemplo. I'm going to show you the example. Ok. The example said in this way. For example, if you had 10 units of product A at a variable cost of uh, $60 per unit, and take a look at this. 15 units of product B at a variable cost of uh, $30 per unit, you had two different variable costs. Ahí tenemos dos variables diferentes, ¿sí? 60 and 30. Your average variable cost crunch these two variable costs down to one manageable figure. Okay, ojo con eso, tenemos dos. Okay, in the above example, you can find your average variable cost by adding the total variable cost of product A. Take a look at this. $60 by 10 units, or we are talking about $600, and the total variable cost is product B, uh, $30 multiplied by 15 units, or uh, $450, then dividing this sum by the total number of units, produce 10 plus 15, or 25. Your average variable cost is 600 plus 450 divided in 25 or 42 per unit. I don't know if you are able to do it in your calculator in order to have an idea about this. Esta es la fórmula de promedio compuesto, teacher, si no mal yes. recuerdo. Sí, ¿verdad? There is something like that. Okay, make an screenshot. And we are going to just to, 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 to leave it right here, this, this uh, because we need to talk about the, the rest. Okay, haga una screenshot, por favor. Esta no la, en el ejemplo que vamos a hacer, no, no vamos a aplicarnos hasta aquí, pero necesitaba dárselos. Incluso, uh, well, as I told you, my presentation got a lot of info, but sometimes I don't share it with you because sometimes we don't uh, talk about it because this is this is this is uh, different and this one also, but but in this case we are going just to talk about this. Okay, but don't don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Ok, creo que ya tienen las screenshots, no se preocupen. Let us go back again to the books. Regresémonos al libro. Porque no nos hemos salido. Lo que estoy haciendo es ampliándoles el tema de lo que estamos hablando. No, no me vaya a decir, bueno, y de dónde sacó tanto, de dónde sacó todo eso. Because remember, this is the topic that we have. Ok. We already talked about cost of productions. Uh, what, what about the next one? The mark demand for a product or service. Who wants to read it? This one. Okay, uh, mark and demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. 
Okay. The love of demon is that there is an inverse relationship between demon and price. As prices fall, demon rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Demand <laughs> for a product. Okay. It's a tongue twister, right? It looked like it's tongue twister. Okay. I remember the graphic. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I, I, I got it. I got it. Why you uh -huh. And I guess that I have some like that here. But I don't want to 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 give you a lot of info because maybe some of you could get confused. But you uh, you know where I'm talking about it, right? Okay, let me see if I got something here in order to explain you in a better way. I got it here. Let me see if I got the I, I'm looking for the formula in order to, to, to do this one. Ah, I got it. I, I got I got I got it. I got it. Okay, let me let let me let me turn. What we're gonna do in order that you can understand this part, okay. Hold on a little bit. And I told you, if you have questions, just let me know because what I'm doing is just to explaining the topic, but let me see here where I have it, this is here. My goodness, I don't see it. Maybe this. Okay, this is, it is uh, something, it is the same. What is a uh, market demon and it's important. We already know, we, 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 we got some information about this, but, but also there are some uh, terms that we can use it, like a market demand can fluctuate over time. In most cases, it does. It could be due to a variety of factors, some seasonal and predictable, or the more out of our control, like a natural disaster or even a pandemic, something that is happening here, okay? When more people want a specific type of product, this is an increase in market demand. Under these circumstances, prices typically go up. More people want it and more people are willing to pay for it. But when market demand increases, prices typically follow suit. It gets more complex than that but we'll get into it later. Okay. One common business mistake is not considering market demand for your venture, but especially when it comes to product development. If you don't want to invest too much capital in products that no one will buy, sit in a stock, eat, at your profits and take up warehouse space. Okay, but, but don't worry about uh, all the concepts. 
just try to get an idea. On the flip side, you also want to make sure you always have enough to share your customer base. Out of stock are costly issues and could spoil your chance to snap a new lifelong customer. And we are right here, we talk about the difference between individual and market demands. Here, but let me show you this. Maybe this is the one that uh, Claudia was talking about, about the, the, the curve. And maybe, do you remember this, Claudia? Yes. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the quantity here and also the price. But all the pen or the demon, um, it has to increase or maybe can go down. Okay. Okay, but right here is the one that I would like to, to show you because we have three different uh, Example, we are going to talk about some uh, companies in, in a different place like Canada and in other countries that test in market demand at a local level, okay? Okay, Shopify Merchant, uh, Good Look is a lifestyle and body care brands with the roots in Vancouver, talking about Canada. When, when Sonia Shinji and a found Barrett wanted to try out a new line, of candle product, they knew their hometown would be the best testing ground to see if there was any market demand and what the demand might be, both at local and a global level. And I got it here. We have, this is the presentation. And they researched local neighborhood and came up with a list of shop they wanted to target for wholesale, an inbound lead began uh, trickling in. This initial demon helped then validate the venture and identify some market outside of the Vancouver area, as well as forecast demon for their business of it all. It made sense to start in your home city. Is the one where you are going to get a lot of attention a lot of support and also a lot of opportunities, but eventually you are going to need to expand and grow, Sonia said. We were able to take the neighborhood idea and bring it to Toronto, to Montreal, and other cities across Canada and even the United States. But the most important thing is how you calculate market demand for a product, that that is the main point here. Okay. Okay, ready to put all this information to work. Let's run some number and an hypothetical example. We'll go back to the iPhone accessories idea. We want to sell Billy Ellis iPhone case, which was another one of our long detail keyword we found in Google Keyword Planner. If we look, uh, if we look at Google Shopping, show that this phone case go for anywhere from less than one dollar to as much as 25 per case. These are important data points. Now, we look at individual demand. How many Billy Alice iPhones case do people buy and at what prices level? Okay, but let, let us see what happened here. Really, our first customer likes to switch our headphones case frequently, and she also breaks it a lot. She typically buys a new iPhone case every month. Over the course of a year, six of those feature really Ellis. Our second customer, Santa, makes her case last longer, so she only buys two a year. Both of those are at the same um, branch. However, as we adjust the given price, we also inform both really and Sandra's behavior. Increased price will make them both push iPhone case less than frequently. Okay, take a look at this. Here's what that looks like for a full years. And I got a chart. This is the price. This is really, this is Sandra, and this is market demons. As you can see, 
um, this one is the price. This one is the number of uh, cases that are really used in this one too. At, this, at the end, they got only just a product. Talking about this one, right? But if we talk about prices, as you can see, three and two is five of 15, two and two, four, and 20, one and one is two, 25, zero and one equal to one. What happened there? When prices increase, reliance run up by fewer item cases, impacting market demands, you know? Now, uh, notice how as price go up, demand goes down. Si los precios aumenta, la demanda baja. That's pretty much universal for all products of all markets. So there are always exceptions. Okay. As you can see, at the moment that got five dollar, got more more product. But if, if the price uh, increase, we got uh, a less number here. Okay. And now lo, let's go back again to talk about this in the books. Ahora veamos el concepto que tenemos en el libro para que ya regresemos y van a decir y qué es lo que están hablando. Maybe some of you are going to say that. Okay. Remember that market demand uh, is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. What is the, in Spanish, this one? Para que nos vayamos entendiendo, ¿qué es en español? Demanda de mercado. Or? Oferta de su demanda también se conoce. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Oyeron los demás? Sí. Aló. Y ese ejemplo que les he puesto ahí está descrito aquí. Demand rise and as price rise. Demand fall. What happened there? Okay, do you remember the name of the product that you create the first week? ¿Se recuerdan del nombre del producto que crearon la primera semana? No? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, I need that you, I, I don't remember uh, and how I'm going to do in order that you get in group, um, in order that you can continue working with your product because we are going to apply and you are going to make an analysis about that product. I only remember that some of you talk about shampoo and others talk about some um, food for pets. I don't remember more. Just give cereal me. Cereal teacher. Excuse me? Family cereal teacher. Ah, okay, 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 okay. What else? Come on. And do you remember the name of your classmate that were working with you? Se recuerdan de sus compañeros que estaban trabajando con ustedes? No, okay. It's going to be difficult to, to get together. Okay. What we are going to do is this. Based on the, on the slices, basado en uh, las diapositivas, Solo vamos a aplicar la primera fórmula para que no nos compliquemos y saquemos eh, eh, el costo de ese producto que ustedes han pensado, ¿sí? Y le aplicamos la fórmula. Luego uno de ustedes la comparte y nos explica lo que ya hemos hablado. No sé si será posible eso. ¿Es es posible? Hello. Silencio total. My microphone my, is. In my oh. case, I, I don't remember what product I choose. Ah, okay, but you can invent one. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
what we need to know is uh, at the end what we need to look for uh, for the cost. But let, let me finish uh, because there is uh, uh, something else that I need to finish. Okay, hold on a second. Porque no falta algo todavía. The last. Microphone, microphone teacher. Microphone. My microphone. Okay, the last part is determine the market of a product. What is what, what is market? Do you know? Mike, what? Tell me. Es como, me imagino que es como el margen de ganancia de un producto. Mm -hmm. Could be. What else? ¿Qué más? What is market as a product? Okay, let us read what we have here. Regardless of the type of small business, market is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. What is that? There is the concept. La utilidad. Ah, okay. Okay, is the amount you add, la cantidad que usted le agrega al de su producto, okay, to determine the selling price, okay, para determinar el precio al que lo va a dar usted. For that reason, you need to be clear what is market. Talking about uh, you are going to increase the, the price or the product. The market percentage is determined by the amount of your plan profits. ¿Por qué está determinada, dice? Por el monto que desea ganar. Ah, okay. Usted va a decir. The type of the product or, or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the sellers. Okay. It is there, but, oh, but, but let us go back again to talk about your... Okay, con eso ya tenemos como, que, como una idea. De, de cómo es lo que vamos a hacer, porque al final siempre también hay que determinar el encarecimiento del producto que le vamos a, a le vamos a aumentar dependiendo de las eh, lo que hemos planificado ganar, ok pero necesitamos tener el costo real ok uh, you are going to be together in group of, let me see three or four maybe let me see if we have enough time. Okay, no van a hacer algo complejo. La fórmula pequeña que tenemos ahí, no sé si todavía la recuerdan. Solo vamos a aplicar la primera. Let me show you. Okay. It's going to be this one. Because we need just to look for the variable cost formula. That is going to be cost per unit um, by the total number of units. That's it. And you mentioned me and tell me and, 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 and give me something like this that I have here. Okay. Tenemos la fórmula y lo único que van a hacer solo va a ser explicarme eh, el resultado. De acuerdo. Hello. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. 
Un yes. Tengo un yes. For tomorrow. Maria. For tomorrow. No, for tomorrow. It's going to be for today. Son números pequeños. Okay, let me see. Uh, I got my 10. Um, let me see. We got... Uh, no, for tomorrow. It's going to be for today. Okay, let, let us do six. Okay. Solo me alistan ahí, eh, ya están habilitados para presentar, así que rapidito, 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 vamos a hacerlo. Ok, vamos, let me see if a minute is enough. Ok, todos aportando para hacerlo rapidito, ok. Here we go. Inventes el nombre del producto si ya no se recuerda. Here we go.
We didn't finish the chat. You didn't finish? Okay, don't worry about it. Finish the chat. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And also we have some questions that we are going to answer in the review because we are going to make a review and there we are going to answer this question. Okay, uh, let, let us see somebody finish. Veamos si alguien logró finalizar su ejemplo and want to share it. Teacher, Hello, our sir. group uh, finished the 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 cost the cost variable. Okay. Do you want Teacher, to share? This? Teacher, hay que presentar todas las diapositivas anteriores. No, just um, you, 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 the the formula and, and your numbers that you have, okay. Only the phone. Teacher, eh, pres, eh, pode, podemos mostrar. Show me presentation. <laughs> yes, you, you can do it. Okay. Oh, only one or two because of the time. Because of the time. Teacher, nosotros hicimos así. <laughs> okay, let, let us see. Let us see. Okay, bottle the... shampoo. Cost per unit five dollar. Okay. Total no number of unit uh, five thousand. Y después hicimos la multiplicación. <laughs> eh, solamente eso terminamos. Okay. What What about the markets uh, for the product? Now that you already know that the cost is five dollar. At the moment that you are going to sell it in a market, uh, which one is going to be the real price? It has okay. to be. It has to be with the with, with the profit that you need to make. Si ya tenemos el costo real del producto, mm -hmm. okay, ese es un costo real. El, uh -huh. costo. Al final, al final aplicando el market, uh, mm -hmm. en, cuan, en, en cuánto? Un veinticinco por ciento, teacher. Mm -hmm. 25%. Okay, ¿cuál sería entonces el precio real en el que lo vendería? Six, eh, six, eh, twenty, twenty-five hundred for by unit teacher. Okay, ¿se recuerda la otra formulita que les di por ahí? But, but don't worry about it. You already got the, the idea how to do this. Se me perdió, teacher. Solo eso terminamos, teacher. La verdad que no nos dio tiempo de buscar la diapo, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, but in this way you can make an analysis about the, the cost of the product. ¿Se recuerdan de la última que vimos, la última diapo que vimos? Sí. El, el margen, el margen de ganancia que buscamos, se lo vamos a aumentar a eso. Que ya vimos el precio realmente cuánto es, entonces, margen de ganancia que yo quiero de ese producto. Y, at the same time, the amount of, of, of product that I need to sell. Ya vimos sí. también de que si le aumentamos el precio, ¿qué es lo que sucede cuando aumentamos precio? The demand eh, for the teacher. Ah, okay. Um. Okay. okay. Based on that, you are going to, to make an idea about. Teacher. Hello. Eh, en la fórmula, teacher. Bueno, no sé, en, en cuestión de costos, uh, muchas veces se basan en un porcentaje que ya lo tienen analizado, digamos, un 25% arriba del, del costo que tiene o o del precio unitario de producción. Sí. Pero en la diapo no encuentro la fórmula, teacher, o el costo promedio, que era sumar los dos, los dos tipos de productos para sacar un promedio, pero no, no sé si a eso se refería, teacher. 
Sí, no. es que como, como le repetí, eh, no nos íbamos a, a, a complicar tanto porque para eso le mostré incluso una donde estábamos sacando el, el costo promedio. Ah, ok, de dos tipos de productos. Ah, o no. del mismo producto o, o uno distinto, digamos. Sí. Ah, ok, ah, pues no, teacher, a esa parte no, la, no llegamos a compararlo con otro. Digamos, este era de un para hombre y el otro era de para mujer, digamos, podía hacerse esa parte. <risa> Pero okay, no lo hicimos, para, teacher. Para que <risa> you some idea, pero le di oh. las ideas. No me sí, que yes, no. yes, sí, teacher, yes. En, uh, en, y traté de, de ser un tanto claro y ir despacio. Así es que, eh, bueno, espero que hayan comprendido el tema. Yes, teacher. It's very interesting. Y algunos pues se recordaron de algunas cositas que vieron. Las tratamos live. Acuérdense que no es en sí una clase sobre costo de producción y todo eso. No, es una idea. De hecho, teacher, yo okay. no sabía si es que vine a aprender de las dos cosas sin querer. <laughs> you never uh, thought that something like that could be happening in English, right? Right. Nunca me imaginé, dijo alguien, que en inglés iba a ir a ver esto y ni en español me gusta, me dijo un estudiante. <laughs> Mi teacher. Ah. Mi teacher. Ah. <laughs> Ok, tranquilos. Ana Beatriz. No apareció Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Bautista. Present. Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Jonathan. Present, sir. Ok. Present, Rod Jonathan. Present. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Rodrigo. Present. Eh, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Mayra. Present. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present teacher. Uh, Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Now it's your turn for, for the one by one. Wendy. Three? Yes. You are going to have 10 Today? minutes. Yes, you are going to have 10 minutes to ask me questions. Okay. Jenny Suleyma. Please, present teacher. Present. Present teacher. Ernesto. Brian. Ernesto, yo teacher. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, Ernesto, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Es la costumbre. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. I do really appreciate your assistant here. Remember that we are uh, close to finish. Only just one week more. So please try to uh, try to stay in the class because at the end you need to have the 80% of your assistant here in order that you can pass this module. Eh, traten de asistir, por favor. Yo no quiero ser piedra de tropiezo de nadie, pero si usted no asiste, me toca hacer eh, las veces que le llamo y no respondo. Ahí ya no puedo hacer más. You know? And I've been trying to help you. Al menos yo he estado, yo siento que he tratado de, 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 de hacer muy claro, pero no sé. Ustedes qué dirán. I don't know. Porque ustedes están al otro lado de la pantalla, you know? And I'm here. But I've been trying to even to, um, I, I found a way how to show you the symbols. Hasta he estado mostrándoles la simbología de algunas pronunciaciones de palabras. 
más eh, técnicas con el diccionario para que se le vaya familiarizando con ellas. Así es que, I'm sorry for the topic. Pero no fue mi invento, el, el tema está justamente en el material. This topic is very interesting, teacher. Y así es el módulo, you know. Yo sé que muchos no tenían idea de lo que vimos, pero ya hoy con el material, pues, nos queda más claro. ¿Verdad? Ok. Any comment? Any question so far from here? No? No. No, teacher. Okay, no, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. See you, Good Wendy. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Bye. See you okay. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye bye. Claudia. Bye bye, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Escobar. Elizabeth Martinez is there. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello. How do you feel the topic today, Wendy? Ay, teacher. no sé por qué. Generalmente el módulo es, es, habla de más que todo de estos temas. Marketing. Y sabe que yo soy administración de empresas. Perdone. Chao. Hola. Chao. ¿Cómo le oigo? Le, le oí cortado. Ah, no, que yo que administro empresas, tendré que saberme de pe a pa estos temas. Ah, <risa> el, 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 ok. Pero como fue allá del año del 2005 que salí, pues tengo que acordarme. <risa> ah, ok. Ni modo. Sí, pero son, son uh -huh. cosas acá nosotros estamos viendo como lo más simple, lo más sencillo pero que nos puede, yeah. ayudar, nos puede ayudar para hacer un análisis. In a, in a easy yeah. way in order to make an analysis of the product. That is the main sí. the idea. Sí, tener... ¿Y qué recomienda usted? Tener como... Va, leo y tener como la idea principal, nos ha Así dicho. Es. Pero es, es bueno traducir en el famoso traductor de Google ¿O es mejor quedarse solo con algunas palabras que uno no conozca y, y tratar de, de formar la idea así nada más? Okay. ¿Cómo cree que sale mejor? In my case, en mi caso, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I recommend that uh, you try to understand the meaning of the word in the context. Que trate de hablar okay. de una palabra del texto. En as soon as you got an idea, Sandro, tengo un tengo for the, the meaning maybe in order to be mm -hmm. sure that you are o sea que la, las dos cosas pero que comience primero por crear mi propia idea digamos para 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 ir este desarrollando esa capacidad de ah, entender okay. el significado de algo a través del texto ah ok a través del y otra cosa que otra cosa que yo siento que, que pasa es que a veces uno quiere traducir y lo que estaba hablando hace un par de días, la, la semana pasada, que hay palabras que tienen mil, mil significados. Entonces se sí. tiene que ver el contexto de la oración porque muy diferente a lo que realmente, a lo si que no, uno no, supuestamente dice. Si no le aparece otra cosa y usted dice, bueno, y ya está diciendo. Es que el de dibujar, me acuerdo yo que, que usted dijo, estaba metido en la, esa, esa palabra dibujar y nada que ver con dibujo, sino que era como extraer <ríe> o tomar. O sea, ah. yo me quedo así como que nada ah. que ver. <ríe> sí, pero es que mm. lo que sucede, acuérdese lo siguiente. Uh -huh. eh, a medida vamos avanzando en nivel, vamos cambiando el significado de algunas palabras. Eh, yeah. por, por ejemplo, se recuerda al inicio cuando comenzó que veía la palabra book. Ah, sí. Y ya después le sí, apareció sí. a I want to book. A, ¿Como menú? Eh, le aparecía como en como un hotel. 
En, la, en las cosas de alimentos, creo que estaría también. Sí, pero por ejemplo, en lo, en lo más fácil, uh -huh. eh, cuando uno quiere reservar, por ejemplo, un Ah, eso, pues, reservar la mesa, creo que era. Entonces, uh -huh. you, you book, you book, I, I want to book a room. That way, in that way. Sí, cualquiera puede decir, ah, quiero un libro. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, a medida vamos avanzando de nivel, uh -huh. van siendo eso es lo que sucede. Sí. Y yo sí. comprendo de que muchas palabras de las que hemos leído, que eh, algunos no tienen algunas ideas, pero recuérdese que lo que yo estoy haciendo es exponiéndolos al idioma, que ustedes sí. puedan oír el, el, la pronunciación de esas palabras. Y sí. más adelante, cuando ya estén en nivel avanzado, entonces ahí van a decir, ah, eso ya lo oí. Sí. Entonces, ese es el... Tener... Agarrar por lo menos la idea de lo que significa cada palabra. Yes. Uh -huh. Y lo más importante que les estaba diciendo es que el que anda eh, bueno, listo ahí siempre va haciendo como un vocabulario de cada clase y dice, ah, en esta clase ya estás. Sí. Y ahí la va aumentando la va. Es sí, ese es el problema de que uno casi no tiene tiempo, sí. por lo menos yo. Yo quiero una semana con 48 horas cada día. Y digo yo que sí, ya me pongo al día en todo. <risa> <risa> me trabajo en todo lo que tengo que hacer en la casa. Nada sí, yo digo, eso. ya con una semana. Que cada día tenga 48 horas. Digo yo que ya. Ahí se puede. <risa> Qué barbaridad. And, uh, that usually happened to me because I had to to prepare my classes to see different places. Ah, lo que le iba a decir es de que, de que ya le entendí que no puede estar como mandando todas las diapositivas porque son un millón de diapositivas. So, Pero así como decía ahora, que tal vez las que veamos en las clases, cortarlas y mandarlas. Porque sí, es bastante información importante la que, la que manda. Sí. Y estar, y mire, es una locura porque mi teléfono no es tan sofisticado pero el problema es de que me pide, yo no sé si dimensión o algo así, en lo que usted dice, que le tomamos la, la, la foto, está pidiéndome las dimensiones, no sé qué. Tenés y tengo que, que como regresar. Y cuando es que regreso, así, ya, así, ya así, no. así, así lo tiene configurado. Algo le debe haber movido, quizás, en la... Sí. En la eh, porque así me pasa, no puedo tomar ni una foto sin que esté así. Es que las Entonces, tomo, pero bien... Bien exactas. Ay, pero demasiado exactas. De que toman, <risa> de tan exactas que no, la, no toma nada. Ah, ok. Uh, ok. Uh, I don't know if you have an specific question about a particular topic. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Ya le digo de cuál había. Me dio anotado. Que no me acordaba que a mí me tocaba ahora. Pero ya le digo. Que me costó todo un mundo entender fue a lo de la, las preguntas directas e indirectas. Ah, ok. Ajá. Pero antes de ese tema, me acuerdo yo que vimos otro que me costó también bastante. Ya le digo. Pero sí que fue de... de... Ah, ya digo. ¿Y qué fue antes de eso? Pero sí eso, de las, de las preguntas directas y de indirectas, esas me habían costado. Porque no, no, las, no las comprendía bien. Que vimos lo del prototipo. Ajá, esto acaba talk about the prototype and then we talk about transition. Hablamos Pero de los transition, ese. addition, furthermore, eso, cabal. over and besides. Cabal. Eso fue. Esas palabras uh, we use it only as to add information. Las usamos para uh, agregar información, eh, mm -hmm. para darle soporte a una idea que tengamos. 
Eh, para eso precisamente es que las usamos. El de beside, for, for the more, in addition, in addition in this, in or, fact, or, yes. more. Moreover, ¿cómo se pronuncia eso? More, more over, more over. More over, second y third. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, Ahí es de buscar como en cada cosa, ¿verdad? O sea, que significa casi que lo mismo y que el contexto en el que tenemos que ponerla, algo así, ¿lo entendí? Ok. Sí, es lo que sucede es que en el paragrafo no podemos poner siempre la misma in addition, in addition, in addition, in addition. Mm. We need to look for another words para que el, el yeah. texto se vea bien. Yeah. Y siempre lo vamos a usar para agregar información. O para darle, como ya le dije, eh, a soporte a una idea que tengamos. Ah, ok. Sí. Y me acuerdo que llevaba como reglas cada palabrita de cuándo se iba a ocupar y cuándo no. Cuando, que una era este como que, re, que afirmaba más, algo así, ¿verdad? El for, el sí, eh, furthermore, what, era what, como para afirmar, algo así. What we said is this, they're talking about punctuation. Moreover, que lo que viene después de eso tiene más peso, algo así he notado yo. Sí. Lo que hablábamos acerca de la puntuación era que addition and furthermore mm -hmm. um, ellos siempre generalmente están precedidas por un signo de pregunta o un punto y después sigue mm -hmm. una coma. Mm -hmm. And moreover is preceded by a semicolon o sea un punto y coma. And ¿Punto follow. y coma cuál? El... Semicolon, the, the, the more, moreover. Moreover. Ah, ok. Moreover. Está, es, siempre es, casi está precedido de, de un punto y coma, después va la palabra moreover. Un punto y, y coma. Y después va la coma. Ah, ok. Punto y coma y después moreover. Yes, and then coma. Y luego, luego moreover. 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 Estaba escribiendo exactamente la... Ah, pero okay. no estaba pronunciando bien. Que yo siempre hago eso. Ah, <ríe> More okay. over. Para acordarme la escritura. Va, punto y coma y luego more over. El de, que está precedido de... De punto o algo así. En addition y for... Furthermore. For, furthermore. Sí. Precedido de qué? Precedido de un signo de pregunta, una question mark y un punto. Eh, o punto. No, está precedido por un signo de pregunta y un punto. Ah, y un punto. Okay. Y después va seguido de una coma. Ah, bueno. Ahí tienes esas reglas en su material. Y esta vez. Yes. You have it there. Okay, I guess it's a, it's a general, uh, it's a general comment about this topic. Yeah, después los indirectas y las directas que entendí que en las directas es la que puede que lleva auxiliar y en las indirectas es la que no lleva auxiliar. Que le, como que elimináramos el auxiliar. Ok, ok. El do. Y, y algunas van precedidas de algunas eh, frases. Uh -huh. Generalmente van precedidas por algunas frases. Dependiendo de esa frase, si es de pregunta, va a llevar signo y si no, no. Ah, ok. Puede ejemplo, ser pregunta dice, o no. Could you tell me uh -huh. what time it is? Uh -huh. ¿Se recuerda? Podrías. Y, y después, por ejemplo, dice, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. No me acuerdo del wonder. No se recuerda. No, teacher, ¿para qué le digo que no? Sí, sí, <risa> no, sí, 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 no. Ah, el de I wonder, I was, I don't 
Pero el wonder ya se me olvidó. I need to know. Please tell me. Lo tengo anotado, pero no, ya okay. no me acuerdo. El I wonder is. Es una frase que usamos para. I wonder if you, if, if, if you want to tell me uh, where, where you live. Podrías. Me preguntaba, dice usted. Ah, me preguntaba. Yes, okay. I, I wonder. Por ejemplo, dice, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis. I wonder if you made the report. Ok. Sí, me preguntaba si usted ya hizo la planilla. A eso okay. es que sirve. O, por ejemplo, puede decir, I like to know if you already pay. Me gustaría saber si ya pagó. Y I was wondering. Sí, eso ya es en otro tiempo. Sí, I was wondering. Uh -huh. La paz progresiva. ¿Cómo? Sería un past progressive. Pasado progresivo. Sí. Fue preguntado. No. Fue preguntado. No. Ah, porque I, I was wondering. Uh -huh. Me estuve preguntando. Ah, me estuve preguntando. Creo que de eso les envié un cuadrito de, de, de información. Ahí Yo está. creo que sí, teacher. Ahí están todos los tiempos. Ok. Sí, ahí están. Ahora, cuando ya lo hacemos, when we do it with WH word question, cuando ya lo hacemos así con palabras de información, ya usted dice, I wonder what, uh, what the two pieces I need to well are. Y ahí hay que acordarse de cómo va eh, hasta le di... Eh, una, where you live, where the school... Le di una estructura, oh. la forma donde va el, 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 lo que hace en el cambio. Ah, ok. Mandó sí. algo también de eso. Sí, se lo mandé. Pues, de ese si mismo eres, cuadrito. Pero es que eso es lo que me extraña, que me dicen, no, es que no, es que no les he mandado completo todo, les mandé unas partes. Como las partecitas de, de información. Las más importantes que podamos ver. Sí. Okay, Wendy, thank you okay. very much. Thank you, I, teacher. I, I hope to see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Okay. God bless you. Okay, you too, and good night. Good night. Okay.